Yeah, Mandy, this felt all along, you know, early on, Baylor certainly took control of this game, and, you know, it felt like they were going to run away and hide and turn this thing into a laugher. But the second half, in a reversal of what we've seen throughout the most of this year, they couldn't get anything going. The offense was not on the field. Talking to Charlie Brewer after the game, he said we couldn't get anything going because we weren't on the field. 24 min over 24 minutes of time possession for Oklahoma in the second half. Baylor just over four. Now, the big number here, all those numbers you can look at, but the big number here, Oklahoma ran 95 plays. Baylor ran 52. That's your ball game right there. This offense, as dangerous as they are, you can't give them that many opportunities. And you cannot keep this defense that's been so good all season long. Can't let them run at 95 plays against this Oklahoma Sooners offense with or without CeeDee Lamb. Now, the Bears not into moral victory. Certainly not all loss. Lots to still play for for the Baylor Bears. And they leave this game knowing that this was a big win for them. Big win for Oklahoma. This team is close to that championship level. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we there was no doubt in our minds that we that we are one of the better teams in the country. And obviously, we wish we could have the second half back. I bet you if you asked Oklahoma, they wish they could have the first half back, right? So, but we I don't think there's a lack of confidence. Um, I just think uh, for us, you know, we got to this moment. We still haven't put a full game together. We kind of played half of a game. We'll go back. We'll say, hey, look, what do we have to do to put a full game together? Yeah, I mean, we, we were close. I'd like, you know, obviously, like for us to, you know, have gotten the win. Um, you know, wasn't enough, um, you know, and, uh, you know, you put that on my shoulders. I need to do a better job and, you know, find a win one. Well so you, you got the 1-0 mindset to get to this point for Baylor. Now they need to do that and employ that 24-hour rule. Flush this one and get ready to play Texas next week because bottom line is you get one more win, you're going to play Oklahoma once again for a Big 12 title. So Baylor, going to let this one linger a little bit tonight, but you can bet next, starting tomorrow and beginning Monday, this team is going to be talking about going 1-0 against the Texas Longhorns, a team that they have also not beat in the last four years. So trying to snap that streak, a disappointing night, but still lots to play for for the Baylor Bears. We'll have you covered with the Bears every step of the way, but until then, live at McLean Stadium, Matt Roberts, Fox 44 Sports.